Um, we're talking to Tamia about how I'm in trouble with people at Def Jam for not listening to her <laughs> record many wow. weeks ago. But <laughs> while I didn't do what I was supposed to do many weeks ago, mm -hmm. I did today purchase the album. Okay. Yes, I have the album here on my phone. Uh, Love Life yes. by Tamia. Mm -hmm. um, so, Dana, you don't have to punch me in the face. <laughs> That's clean. We're good. We're good, right? We're good. Clean. I've seen her left hook, too. It's, it's me. Mean. It's yeah, me. It's, it's yeah. me. <laughs> Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, give it up for the beautiful and talented yeah. Tamia. Yay. Wait, so um, obviously I got exposed to you as many people did when you signed to Quincy Jones. Yes. When you first mm -hmm. came out. Mm -hmm. How many years ago was that now? I am celebrating my 20th year. Wow. Uh, in the music business. Yeah, it's That's crazy. Dope. Wow. Went by fast. Very fast. And yeah. then um, you got were in a part of this amazing wedding and NBA player, Grant Hill, uh, yeah. superstar. And you guys are still together and successful. Mm -hmm. And that's beautiful and amazing. Yes. And then you went away for a little while. Um, Musically. Musically, um, since the last project, yes, it's been three years three since years. the last project, yes. yes. And you know, that's an eternity in, it in, is. Yeah, in the music business, for sure. It's a long time. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people, when they're gone that long, you know, I think there's, what, two artists that go away that frequently? Sade yeah. and Maxwell. Yes, absolutely. They go away for like a decade and then come back. And come back, and Sade looks exactly the same. It's <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it happens. But, no, 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 no. Um, you know, actually, I haven't actually been away. I've been very fortunate that I've still been touring and, and, okay. and things like that and going overseas and stuff. So I've still been, you know, performing. Um, but in, as you know, this part is the easy part the getting the the album ready and in people's hands and now the work really begins when you go out there and you're promoting it so yeah you are beautiful thank you like grant i don't want no problems but i think <laughs> it needs to, i think he knows this as well can you um i mean laura definitely needs advice anybody can use relationship advice thanks she needs some advice. I'd love to hear it. I'm sure it would make great uh, music. For uh, sure. Tamia, I don't know if you're ready for This our, one's for Love mind. Life. This is a happy yeah. love album. But the next one, we're going to talk. <laughs> no, but you know what's interesting on her album? She has a song called Sandwich and a Soda. Yeah. See? And all oh. I hear this one talk about is like, all a man wants is a damn sandwich and a soda. Really? All the time. Is this what this, this is This should about? be your theme song. Yes. Tell me about the Sandwich and Soda. It is absolutely a love song. Sandwich and a Soda <laughs> is about taking care of each other and letting that person know you're there for them and whatever you know whatever they need so uh yeah so well a lot of times you. you know men think we don't need things mm -hmm. right and so women will come along and be like well i saw you needed this and i did this for you and we're like i didn't really you saw that i needed that you know what i really need a sandwich, <laughs> a sandwich. i'm starving you thought those <laughs> other things were important yes. and they're important to you it all adds up oh, yeah it all adds up sometimes. oh my god <laughs> so is that the secret though um, well, just the, paying attention to first your the secret, needs. I think, is communication. So okay. you have to communicate that to her that you need a lot more than just the superficial things. Sometimes it comes down to the little things like you're hungry, you mm -hmm. need a sandwich, um, uh, or you need to talk. So I think it's it's all you know relationships, whether it's with your mother, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It's about it's about communication. It's about talking to each other and and you know staying open. How long have you guys been married? We've been married now. Uh, we'll celebrate 16 years this year. Wow. Yeah. 16 years. Yeah, it's crazy. What do you guys do just to keep it fun? <laughs> What do we do no do? because yeah. honestly okay they're they're famous <laughs> and they can do whatever that but what is it aren't you curious like what do you guys do for fun <laughs> um well the first thing is that we do like to spend time with each other um you know we we have fun together um we love to travel um we love i'm like a beach outside girl so i love to go on any type of boat and go is somewhere he? Yes, he he. You know, he's he's more of a busybody than I am. So mm -hmm. you know, we'll go, and we just got back from the Exumas, and I kind of laid around, and he kept the reminding what? the Exumas. What's in, this? Uh, it's in the Bahamas. There are okay. like a whole bunch of islands that you have. You can only get there by boat. Mm. And exclusive. Uh, yeah. That's why I wanted. Yeah. I have. I had eczema growing up. I was like, where y'all went to eczema? I had that growing up. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, you know, so it's, you know, just family time, really. Just uh, sometimes it's quiet time and sometimes we just like to go, you know. And, and sometimes out. you guys need time apart. 
I so you know I I do think that the fact that we're both pursuing our dreams mm-hmm. and we're supporting each other is is an asset to us that you know we see each other and we see the passion that that we both have for for our careers and understand what a juggling act it is to make it all work right. and um, we appreciate that from each other. Has that been oh, in retrospect like mm-hmm. you sixteen years was that rough in the beginning to uh, him being a player mm-hmm. and then you being touring and doing your thing was that rough in the beginning and then then you began to appreciate it right. or I think it's always that that kind of been a juggling act you know especially um you know for for the woman you know you you do have the children and he's an awesome dad but I'm still their mom and I you know when they fall they want me um, when they want to go to the park and hang out it's all dad they're like mom you're boring I want to go hang. <laughs> he takes them on a play date and he comes back at one in the morning you right. know I like they're like out there hanging out so um, but you know you want to be there and you want to be there for the moments and of course you know when we have we're both doing things it's kind of just the juggling act but you know now he's doing the finals and but today he's at home and today is the day that I'm promoting love life so it's like you know we make it work do you where do you guys live in LA um, Orlando Orlando oh wow mm-hmm. very nice yes. and so you're you're originally from where in Canada, Canada. Windsor Windsor mm-hmm. Canada small town Canada was yes. did you guys ever do the LA thing or any of the big city things or have you guys kind of always been more Orlando and smaller um, we've towns. lived in um, Detroit Orlando Phoenix um, California for a bit I lived in California for about five years before uh, we got married right. when, when we were dating and before that um, so we've been all over the place and we ended up back in Orlando and how many kids do you guys have two girls 13 and 7 girls wow mm-hmm. how's that I have a girl it's I the matrix a oh a 10 month old uh-huh. yeah you're good right now you're solid then what happened uh, you know it's the matrix yeah <laughs> yeah Explain. What does that mean? It's like a, blue pill, Life red is pill? slow motion. Remember when he was like backing yeah. up and everything, the bullets were flying slow? It's kind of how it is a little bit. Um, you know, especially with girls. You know, at this age, I think, um, you know, I think she doesn't think I know very much. Which but one? I'm sure the 13 year old, because she knows mm. everything. Um, but I think um, when she gets older, she'll realize. Who's it. the more strict dark <laughs> parent? You? Yes. Yeah, I can tell. Yes, absolutely. I tell. Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Yes. So you and the 13-year-old got beef right now? No, no, never. No, no, no. Because no, I'm still a little old school. Like, you know, she's just, you know, she's taller than me. So, you know, sometimes she, uh-oh, you know, uh-oh. so. Do you tell everybody, like, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know about yeah. wearing I like, that. calm down, you know. But we laugh. We laugh a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know, these kids nowadays, they're just really smart. I mean, they're just wit. You know, she's really witty. She has like smart a. Smart mouth. Uh, yeah. If y'all watching this, you see the code. Her <laughs> eyes changed when she talked about the thirteen year old. No, no, she she's said awesome. She's bigger than me. Yeah, which she is, is bigger than me. Oh, she can still get it. <laughs> and and she says she's witty, which is code for she yeah. got smart ass <laughs> mouth. She better watch it. No, she's really fun. She's a fun girl. So, I, I'm very blessed. So you said this is a happy album. Yes, it's a it's a like a roller coaster of emotions, but it is it's it's a sexy album. Sexy yeah, album. Yeah. yeah. You want another baby? Whoa. Right here. Yeah, <laughs> Bam. Yo, you want the album? Yo, you you want another baby? There's, there's, I'm very respectful of married women. Chill no, not out. with me. Chill out. Stop no, trying to have me. babies with me, too. No, but I love that. I love that. You got to keep, you have to keep This it, is as far as I go. You have to keep it sexy. I love that. I'm all about that. Yes. I don't know. I feel like sometimes with some women, some women don't like to talk about it. I mean, I, I don't know. Right. Some, I have one of my girlfriends, right? She's in a relationship, and I'm always asking her, so what do you got? I'm always like the, mm-hmm. the nosy one. I'm like, so what do you guys do to keep it what nothing to keep it spicy she's like i don't want to talk about that like, i think you should talk about it i think yeah. it's important for women to be open about you know, sexually hey, I, you guys I, are talking girl talk i normally don't chime in laura styles is so over consumed right, right with keeping a relationship spicy she has this fear of boredom in a relationship right but Mind ask me if you, i have one <laughs> I she doesn't have a relationship <laughs> So your question shouldn't be about keeping it spicy. You gotta start with plan one, (laughs) plan A first, and then we move on. But when I do, I'll be on the right track, yes? Yeah, well, you know, it is important that a man, um, you know, that you are um, interested in him physically and mentally and vice versa so you just want to make sure that you know you're interested in a guy and that you know mentally he can keep you you know keep you going yeah of course (laughs) okay can we have uh, you've been married 16 yeah yes yes. right and i've told her um that you will go through periods in a relationship where you're not having sex you love each other right 
you might go a month and not have sex. It can happen. I, I, I bet it can. It's never happened yeah, for no, you I'm not going. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Never. So, because no. we've had conversations where people have gone, listen, listen. Maybe 30 kids. years or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 60 years, no. No, That's a never. long time. Really? Yes. Well, good for you. A month is a long time. A month is a long time. And I've never been away for a month, so. So, if you guys were away, then maybe. Yeah, Rosenberg, maybe. what? He went, he said three months was his longest. Yeah. Three months? Yeah, three months was his longest. That's Scheduling, a long time. Well, are, it, all of just everything, okay. getting up early I mean, in the morning. life happens. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just, just like in any relationship, you have to put forth the effort as well you right. know it's like yes life can get ahead of us and we all have so many things on our minds but you need that connection mentally and you do need that connection physically as well yep. do uh, i want to take a transition to me is here the album love life it's on sale right now what's the single i want to get the single on for the people before we have uh some the single talk. is called sandwich in a soda speaking sandwich to your heart right this is my song let's go it's my theme song uh ladies and gentlemen give it up for to me on the program right spin, now spin, spin the night. That's what I'm talking about, boy, I'm just saying uh -huh. And I ain't playing It ain't like that with me when we be laying Up, 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 up Let me love you You're looking tired of these basic levels uh -huh. And I know the several You got the highest, you don't have to settle See, I'm the type of girl to kill to love you down Like, you can be the king and I'll bring you your crown Like, shimmy, shimmy, coco puff, shimmy, shimmy, plow Like, me and you on the ground, baby, now If you wanna ride these curves Hop in your Chevy Nova T-Bro in the morning, Top 9, 7, Laura Styles, The beautiful Tamiya is with us this morning Um, so... Uh, MS. Yes. When I have some, my brother was about five years ago diagnosed. Mm. Has it been five years? Yeah, about five years ago diagnosed with MS. Mm -hmm. Didn't run in our family. We have different dads. He didn't know his dad. Um, and Laura, you were asking me about multiple yeah, sclerosis. I, I don't know. So. I don't know too much about multiple sclerosis. So I had a lot of questions. I was asking you, bro. Like, how do you? Is that? Is it hereditary? Or how do you know? What are the symptoms? Because he said one day you could wake yeah, up. Yeah, my and brother just woke up vision. one day mm -hmm. and his eyes weren't working. Yeah. And so you know, obviously everybody panicked and mm -hmm. he was diagnosed. We had no idea. Um, and now you know he has to take his medicine. His body. Um, you know, he doesn't have the same amount of energy that he used mm -hmm. to have. You know, food. He still works out. Um, he has a young son and two daughters, so mm. he can't really play with them like he used to because mm. his energy and his legs will start to get numb. Mm -hmm. So he's really, and it's new for him. Um, you were diagnosed how long ago? In 2003. In 2003. And MS essentially is a neurological disease, so it, it, uh, it affects... Um, it's 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 kind of deep. They don't really know why people get it or whether it runs in families. They're not really sure. But literally, like your brother, you could wake up one day and all of a sudden something doesn't something work. doesn't work. And it almost in order to diagnose it, you have to x out a lot of other things because I'm sure they checked his eyes, they checked mm -hmm. all these things, and so you start to rule things out in order to rule MS in. And for me, it was almost the same deal. Something was going on with my leg. Um, I happened to be on. Uh, vacation and um, unbeknownst to me uh, a lot of sun as well mm, can for that. some people are very heat yes. sensitive oh, wow. and that's where it started for me I was out I was probably in the sun the entire time and and um, and then I started to really neurologically not really be able to kind of keep it together so um, they had to run tests and, and and rule many things out I think I spent maybe like a week in the hospital wow. to figure out what's going on but it affects people differently and that's the thing um, that we're we're trying to figure out with MS, you know, why has it progressed so quickly with your brother? And you know, with some people, it kind of stays dormant. And for me, I have um, something called um, uh, it, it's it's the lowest sort of form of, of MS, where it's kind of it, it attacked and then it it regressed. It, it regressed. So right. um, some people have progressive MS, which it kind of it keeps progressing. Um, but I kind of liken it to a dial um, from zero to ten. You're always kind of at one to two, mm -hmm. 
Um, so there's always little things that I can feel. Um, and now I know sort of the triggers, you know, being in the sun. Right. And, and I know for me, exercising and, and eating properly and also having the proper mind state as well. You know, yeah, that, stress yeah. really exacerbates yes. things. And so it's a matter of just sort of finding those triggers and, and turning the volume down. But every now and then, you know, people like your brother, what, that, what happened to him, they call that an attack. And mm. that's where the volume's kind of been turned up. And now you're trying to just keep the volume it down. It was a high stress, too. They had just had twins. Absolutely. Oh. Right? Um, and a know. lot of times we don't even know. Yeah. Like when we did when we did sort of my chart and we looked back at the times when I had, you know, flare-ups, it was things that I didn't even realize I was stressed about. You know, moving, having children and moving and all of those things at the same time that they just sort of, you know, pile up and, you know, your career and all those things that you just, you're just living your life. Right, you don't realize. Right. But everyone body is different and we respond to to stress, stress differently. differently yeah so did you mm. change your diet did I you did yeah I, I you know I just I try to um, you also you know you also have to look at what you're eating and think about how it makes you feel and and you know some things you know I, I can't do anymore um, and that's just for me I'm not I'm not against any certain Are thing for everybody else or... no no um, every now and then I love I love red meat I'm Got like it. a I'm a red meat person but um, because also your immune system is a little bit compromised so you just have to you know be careful um, but you know there's little things like you know certain vegetables that I don't really like, you're afraid but, are you afraid to tell the audience what vegetables you are, no I like, maybe I don't know I feel like you're dancing around I, no, like you be, might offend no, because, tomato well, lovers or you know, well, when you, the when tomato it comes, lovers are gonna right, come right, right. <laughs> the, right, right. they're gonna come and get me I don't like cucumbers um, you know the thing is I think I think um, it's just tricky because I would never tell someone not to do something for their own health I think there are certain things out there that you can look I do a lot of like homeopathic things yeah. as well um um, and so I think that it's important you find something that works for you because a lot of it, too, is just keeping mentally strong. Well, and what you're saying you're is everybody's body is different. Absolutely. Yeah. And you need to find what's best for you. Yes. And be healthy. Absolutely. And Do the just, best you can. We just had this discussion. As we're getting older, our bodies are changing. It's funny because with mm -hmm. me, and, I, and listen, I'm not going to insult any turkey lovers because I love turkey. But when I cut out turkey and dairy out of my diet, and this is just me. Mm -hmm. I, I felt the difference mm -hmm. in a week. Yes, absolutely. I felt the difference in my way. And, and I was someone that turkey this, turkey bacon, turkey everything. And Lisa, I still love it. Just go on record, say it. Fuck turkey, man. <laughs> go, fuck you, turkey. She man. said, I don't love turkey, but turkey doesn't love me. It doesn't love me. So it's just so important <laughs> that. Turkey that we love it. <laughs> Yo, what is going on in the world, man? God damn. That we learn our bodies and we learn what's right for each of us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, to me, you got a great spirit, kid. Thank you. So, would you consider yourself a shit talker in your personal life? Like, what? what mm -hmm. I want to know because we know Grant Hill from Duke, the right, piano right. player. He's put together, but yeah. then you know, I know you as an artist. I've obviously been around your music, and you know, uh, and you're a singer, and I, and you've always the relationship has always just been kind of like pristine. Like <laughs> our vision of it's like ah, they're perfect. They're this. Right. There's no problems, and there may be no problems, but all relationships have something. Yeah, absolutely. Are you a shit talker? Um, I would say that all relationships have have ups and downs, and that what works in one relationship may not work in the other. Um, I would th Grant will say that I like I'm all bark. So something will happen. So you will and I, scream da, 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 like, da, da, fuck da, 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 that da. shit. That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. He'll be like, hey, calm down. You're not going to do anything. <laughs> calm it all the way down. He's the calm one yeah, in our relationship. Yeah. He's the, you know, he's a Libra. He's very justice, calm, yeah. you know. But if he gets turned up, it's, I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, leave him alone. <laughs> I went too far this time. <laughs> yeah. um, he still plays the piano, right? He does. He loves music. He's a, he's a huge lover of music. What's Tamia listening to right now? Uh, well, you know, I have a 13-year-old and a 7-year-old, so they control uh, the, the radio in the car, at least. Um, you know, I forced them to listen to this album a lot, so now that this is here, they're, <laughs> You're they're probably really excited. Yeah, they're probably Damn excited. It. Right, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just now kind of back into listening to everything. When Usually when I go in the studio, I kind of shut off, and I, I don't really listen to a lot of music. Um, Gangster rap or not? Cursing? Uh, uh, when I'm working out. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. who? Who you like? In um, anything like NWA, Rick Ross. Rick anything. Ross. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Jay Z, obviously. Yeah. Lil, Lil Wayne, Jake. all that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He's light skinned from Canada, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's required. That's like <laughs> it's required yes. for every person in Canada to have no, Jake. Especially every light skinned person in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> He's the spokesman. What are you talking about? <laughs> and your kids. What, uh, now, do you, um, with kids, you have a 13 year old, so now mm. I'm sure you're aware of content. Like, what yes. The, like, mm. Are you policing it 100% or are you. You try to. I mean, these, you know, the, 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 they have so much access now. You know, you used to, you know, when I was growing up, you know, your parents knew your friends by who called the telephone. You yeah. know, and sometimes mm-hmm. they pick up and be like, who are you? Hang Who's up, your mom? Click. Who's your, right, right. To so be like, home, you, your voice is you know, deep, right now, home. literally, they can have conversations with their friends and, you know, you got to like, you know, you got to do a sneak attack. So, um, yeah, you try as, as best you can um, to police it for sure. Well, to me, if we got on another song off this album, what would it be? What do you want the people to hear? Uh, I think you should play "Stuck with Me." Stuck with me. Yeah, that Polo did that song, and okay. um, and it's working with him was several years in the making. And actually, he and Grant have been talking about it for years, really? and they just let me in on it. Polo so. the Don and Grant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> yeah, he's a huge like you know. Grant loves music, so yeah. All right, let's give it up for Tamia, you guys. Yeah, the album yeah. Love, Life. Love Life. Is there anything we didn't touch on that you want to make sure that people know about Tamia, about the album, anything? Uh, well, it's in stores now, and certainly, you know, this is my sixth project, 20th year in the music business, and I would not have been able to do it without the support and, and the the faces that I've seen throughout the years, and it's glad to to see everyone, and I'm I'm thankful, so thank you. And is there any beauty secret you would like to give the women? Because I'm sure they're looking at you like this. <laughs> looks amazing right now. It's like uh, she's walking around with her own Instagram <laughs> filter. <laughs> I don't have beauty filter. Um, a makeup artist? No, no. Uh, <laughs> if you come see me tomorrow, it will not be like this. <laughs> All right, to so me you up. just have to be able to step the game up. There you and go. Then, yeah. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks to me. <laughs>